So next one is to find out the orientation of a vector from initial position to the other position. So we need to find out this uh, orientation of the vector. How to find out the new position of this one? So initially this vector is at the point P and uh, here this blue color coordinate axis this is a x y this is a y and a z we attach a frame a to this x y z and this is the standard one so we have considered this coordinate axis x y z to find out the position of the point p that we have already seen in the previous case so how to find out the position of the point p so we know the projections of the point p onto the coordinate axis x y z those are a b and c respectively so by knowing this a b c are the position of point p onto the x y z we can write the position of the point p but now what i did is i trans i rotated this vector in the space in a such a way that it reached the final position p dash and the angle between the initial vector position and the final vector position is a phi. This is the angle between these two phi. And in this case, how to find out this one? Again, here again, we need to find out this position of the P dash with respect to the XYZ here. Why? Because we have only one fixed coordinate system in this space that is the XYZ here. But here we randomly rotated this vector p dash to the final position so that it's making an angle phi with the original one so now what i do is i will make some changes now i will make some ch changes for the sake of convenience so i will draw one more coordinate system temporary coordinate system this one is the x dot this is the x dot y dot and z dot i have drawn this one more coordinate system which is having a origin 0 at the origin so how I have drawn this one for example in the initial case the vector P is making an angle theta with the original coordinate system and uh, when I rotate this the uh, P vector P to the P, P dash and I have attached one more temporary coordinate system x dot y dot and z dash in a such a way that it is again making the same angle theta with this uh, y dash and uh, we, it is having the same rotation or the same orientation within the x dot y dot and z dot that means the vector position of the vector p in the x y z is equivalent to the position and the orientation of the vector p dash in the coordinate system x, x, da, x dot y dash and a z dash here so by knowing these two conditions here project projections a b c are the of vector p on the coordinate system j and uh, i want to find out the projection of the speed dash onto the original coordinate system x y z so let's say that is a l m n and I want to find out the projection of P dash onto the original coordinate system A bar, A dash. That is our main aim. And uh, what would be the projection of this P dash on the you know pro, uh, frame B? What is the frame B here? X, X bar, Y bar and Z bar. So I want to find out the projection of P bar onto the X bar, Y bar, Z bar. That is again ABC. Why? Because we have assumed that this orientation and as well as the position of the p dash with respect to the frame b is ex exactly like as the position and the orientation of p in the original coordinate system so again here also it will become a bar b bar c bar so if that is the case then i can represent the position or the o position of the point p dash in the frame b this is how we represent here so this is the what what is this value so this is nothing but a into i dash plus b j dash plus c k dash 
or the same way if i write like this the position of p in the frame a if i take position of p in the frame a that is again i a i plus b j plus c k here so here i i dash j dash and c dash are the unit vectors along the x dash y dash and z dash in the frame b these two we understood but now i want to write p dash with respect to frame a so how to write this one so there are two ways to write this one first one is directly projecting if you know the direct projection of the p dash on to the x y z with respect to the frame a then you can write this one that is like a l into i plus m into j plus n into k but we don't know l m n we need to find out the l m n for a given a b c for the initial position so what we can do here is in the this is the first method first way of writing this one and what is the second way of writing this same thing so what i do is first i will project p dash on to the frame b and i will rotate back the frame b in to the frame a first we will find out the projection of p dash on to the frame so that is a p dash o b why because this can be easy we know abc projection in the original and those, those are nothing but the projection same projection in the other coordinate system also but only with the changed uh, unit vectors here and after that i will rotate back the frame b to match with the frame a so this is the rotation here vector if i multiply this projection vector into the rotation vector then it will give the projection on to the original one so what is this rotation this rotation is a rotation of the frame b to frame a or rotation of the frame b with respect to b or otherwise this can be written as a rotation of a with respect to b this is how we write like this so this is the under way of writing the equation here so we will follow this one why because in most of the cases we don't know direct projection l m n this is the bop the position of the p dash with respect to the frame b generally we will represent the uh, reference point at the top and here also reference point at the top and uh, what is this one this is the a i i bar i dash b j dash c d k dash why because these projections are you now same in the both cases as we already discussed and here a o p dash here so we need to find out this point and uh, this is the equation here and uh, here if you can recall like from the previous chapter i can write this like this what is the l here l is the projection of the vector o p dash so whenever i want to find out the projection of any vector then and i want to find out this projection on to the x y z that is the original coordinate system so for example l is the projection of o p dash on to the x axis so what is the unit vector of the x axis that is a i i so whenever i want to find out the projection of any vector on to the uh, coordinate system then l that is a projection on to the x the x axis is a i dot the particular vector that particular vector that we have already discussed in the previous session so what is what is this one this is the this is a equation 1 so if i substitute equation 1 here it will become you know uh, a into so b into i dot plus j dot plus c into i dot plus k k bar this is the l in the same manner if i want to write the projection of the i o p dash on to the y axis then that is m again m equal to j dot b o p dash so if i substitute again it will become in the same way i can write n equal to a into i will write these in a matrix form then it would look like this 
So if I write in these in the matrix form, then we will get, uh, you know, L, M, N on this uh, left hand side equal to I will separate these uh, A, B, C. So if I separate A, B, C, then this this will become I, I dot I, I. <coughs> And uh, this is a uh, i dot j bar j dash. This is a i dot k dash. And here j dot i dash dot k dash. This is all you know uh, dot product. And here into we we should multiply it with the vector a b c. So here three by three, and uh, this is the three by one. So when we multiply these two, then we will get a three by one matrix. So that is the projection of uh, L M N. So this is how, and uh, and uh, if I compare this equation with the, this equation two, this is the equation three, and if I compare equation two and three, then this uh, this part is equal to this one. So this is the rotational matrix here. This is the rotational matrix. That is a R rotational matrix R from A to B, and uh, this is equivalent to this uh, uh, B O P dash. Why? Because these are the projections. So when I write in the vector form, these are the projection. So whenever we want to find out the rotation of a particular um, um, frame, then we need to apply. This is simple matrix formula. Then we can find out this.